Over these past few videos, I've been discussing all these higher paying jobs that don't always require a four year degree. I went over how there are over 400,000 tech jobs on the market looking for people like you. Now the next step is for us to go over the steps you would take to look for a higher paying career that is a close fit to what you want to do. Notice I said close fit instead of passion. Let me repeat this for the people in the back. Unless you can look at your bank account and see six figures or more just sitting there ready to spend, you better not be out here picking passion majors. Those are the kinds of struggle majors that will have you working at a fast food joint, call center, or retail store paying a big ass student loan debt. No, 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 no. According to the stats, we ain't got that much savings or median income, so passion majors will only have you applying for payday loans to get your baby some cheap toys for Christmas. Don't do that. But I will do two roles in this video. I will first browse a local DFW area community college looking for a major, major that lands a passion job, whatever that means, like most of you go for it, and then one that leads to a higher paying job like grown folks need. Although I'm in the Collin College uh, District in Plano, north of Dallas, I kind of like Tarrant County College's website as it only shows the various majors uh, it not only shows the various majors, also it shows the expected income you can make after graduating plus the cost to complete the courses. So income and course cost. This is one of the best websites I've seen and I wish all colleges do the same thing. So my hat's off to Tarrant County College for doing a great job by keeping it real with the student who is the customer. But before I get into all that, it hasn't even been half a day since I uploaded my last video discussing how the great resignation has led to over 400,000 high-tech jobs being available. The U.S. Labor Stats Agency reports that 4.5 million Americans simply walked off their jobs last month alone. But I'm going to give you a little inside tip. The news media is not telling you the whole story. This so-called resignation event they keep talking about is not exactly only a bunch of people just walking off their jobs. Nobody can afford to do that. These big companies and industries are quietly automating as many human jobs as they can get away with. How do I know this? Because I am one of those cloud computing experts who is helping them to do all that automation. When you hear about the digital revolution going on in business, that's just a euphemism for them replacing as many of your current jobs as they can get away with. I'll leave that there for now because you know these YouTube algorithms, there are censorship happening, crap like that. <laughs> so, but you've been warned. So these series of videos I'm doing is not just me being helpful. Our very existence depends on us getting ready and getting ahead of this technology revolution before we get swept away. Okay, not to make fun of anybody, but here's how some of you guys look for majors when you look for these passion struggle majors, basically. Y'all just do whatever you wanna do. So I'm here at the Tarrant County College website. Like I said earlier, they do a good job of telling you how much it costs to take these courses and how much you can expect to make once you get out into the field. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, look, Associate of Arts for Arts and Humanities, I love it. Music, I love music, I love Drake and Rihanna, I love this stuff, Ella May and all that stuff, and all these, and Billie Eilish, I love it, I love music. Ooh, visual art, oh my goodness, I can paint, I can do all these things, I can create claymation, I love that too. Ooh, graphic communication. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, graphic communication is not bad. Animation and graphic design and website, that's actually not bad. So, that's I'm okay with that part. They do make money, but here we go. But the, the one y'all love the most, 
radio, TV, and film. Ooh, I gotta do that. I have to do this. I gotta be in radio, TV, and film. So we're gonna look at radio, TV, and film right now. <laughs> All right, so we're at the radio, television, and film uh, site, a page on Tarrant County College's website right now. Okay, so pay attention real quick. All right, we're gonna skip all this other stuff. We can skip the information. We go straight to the money part of it. How much it costs? So it costs for the AAS about four thousand dollars. Sound recording and all that stuff, almost two thousand. Multimedia production, twenty five hundred. But notice the income. Where is it at? Where is the income part of it? They ain't gonna hide that stuff from where. Where, where is it at? <laughs> Is it in somewhere? Shoot. There it is. 35000 a year. Okay. So if you saw the last video, I said that the median income for sisters out there, all you black women, is 35000 a year. So you can see right here, this is 35000 a year. You're going to spend, where is it at? $4,000 to make 35000 Are you out to doggone mine? Don't do this. No, we're not doing this part, okay? That's what I'm talking about. This kind of stuff right here. Don't do this. 35000 is poverty, okay? You're going to be getting payday loans, getting all these little expensive loans from the banks, whatever. If they give it to you, be cashing your check at these, these expensive check cashing places. Don't do this. This is how you end up in a job, <laughs> retail store job at some point. This ain't much more than a retail store job. So what's the use? People, I mean... Passion is fine, but these kind of artsy, kind of liberal degrees, liberal arts degrees, n nobody's paying for that stuff anymore. Just forget about that. You know, if you're not a millionaire, you can't do these kind of majors. I'm sorry. If you're poor, born into a middle class, labor, blue collar family, you have to be realistic. You got to you gotta earn your way to become, to do your passion at some point. You can't just come out the womb, <laughs> come out of high school just doing your passion. No, no. I don't care if one in a million people are making a lot of money at this stuff. You can't do this. I'm sorry. That's how life goes. All right. <laughs> All right. So here's the second role. This is the smarter, wiser person browsing curriculum and majors at Tarrant County Community College right here. So I'm at the STEM part of it. So science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM pathway. People, this is where the money is. Okay? So... You know, I know you love passion out there, but look, if you're born into a low median income kind of family or even just a middle class family, this is where you need to be first. I mean, it, don't, it won't take long until you start making money. These you'd be, you'd be surprised. You make make more money you think in about four or five years, even three years. So why not go down this path first and then work your way up? So here's what the smart person's like. You know, a smart student says a smart student says stuff like. You know what? You know, even I would love to <laughs> paint murals and, and crap. I would love to basket weave and you know create music in my as my career. But my family's kind of poor, so I'm not from a rich family. What can I do to make money first and then pursue what I like to do? So he'll come through and say, "You, you see this? You know, you got the associate of science for a science, technology, engineering, and math." Actually, I don't know what that is, but anyway, <laughs> computer aided drafting and design, CAD, that's that makes money out there. Chemistry, that's kind of iffy at the uh, community college level, so I'll skip that one for now. But electron electrical line technician. Now here's what we're talking. Let's check this. Click this one right here. Electrical line technician. What's going on in this one? Forty six thousand. It's a women out there. Your median income is thirty five thousand. This one is forty six thousand, and actually, they can make more than this. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is they can make more than this. Trust me. And how much will this one cost? This one, see, remember that <laughs> music one, or whatever that was, that artsy one back before. Four thousand for this one as well. So four thousand, you're already making more than what eleven thousand more than that last one. Okay, that music one. So, so you, do you get it now? You got to be realistic, right? That's what I'm talking about. So that's how this one goes. Let's go check out another one. Let's go back real quick and see if we can find another one that should pay pretty well. Let's see. Let me find one. Cloud computing. We talked about that yesterday. What they got going in cloud computing? How much we paying here? 
Forty six thousand years. It's more than that, but that's a good. It's more than this one. It's, that's a good start, though. And how much did this one cost? Oh, four thousand. <laughs> Still the same. Let's check out another one. Cybersecurity. That's another hot career out there. How much this one pays? Ooh, what? Seventy nine thousand people. How much this one cost? <laughs> Y'all better pay attention. Four thousand. Okay. So between that music, that passion music <laughs> major earlier, that was four thousand paying thirty five thousand a year. This one is paying eighty thousand, more than twice the last one. People, they, uh, look at this. Do this. Okay. My good. This is what I'm talking about right here. This kind of stuff. I know some of you don't really, uh, nobody tells you to look at these kind of things, but my advice to you is consider the cost of education plus the money you, you can expect to make when you graduate. I can personally verify that cybersecurity pays this much money. I know for a fact this is true. Okay? So, and it can pay more than, the more certification you get once you get out of school, the higher you can bump this up over 100000 pretty quickly. It won't take you three or four years to get up there. So we need these kind of careers. So people, pay attention. Okay, so that's it for now. I just want to do this real quick. You know, like I said, a lot of high-tech jobs out here right now. You know, um, a lot of people supposedly leaving their jobs, even though it's really getting automated out there, but a lot of people leaving their jobs. So I want more of us to get into these positions right now by any means necessary. And make sure your elected officials, if you need to, give you the funds to get this kind of kind of training to get into this kind of programs here okay so we don't need any more no more other agendas but this we need to transfer into these high-tech jobs now we can do it all right so i'm john the ceo of affluentblastofdallas.com see you in the next video take care